Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's TNT, and today we're going to be checking out Valheim. So, a lot, a lot of great reviews on this game. I've kind of dabbled in it, played a little bit on my own, and uh, thought it'd be a great game to kind of create a video for. So, we're going to get into it. Uh, start game here. You can see I put TNT WH YT for YouTube. Now, there are, with characters, you can only have uh, one character name. So, if you go to create another character, and I was to use this, let's say, new character, actually wouldn't let me use the same name here. So, Kind of something interesting about it you have to you have to create a different character name um so if you want to move your character around you can actually right click i'm sorry left click and rotate him around now here you can see i kind of already made this character he's got uh, the blonde hair longer hair there and then a little bit of a beard i'm actually going to go to new character so y'all can see all the different uh, character options so starting out here you have male or female and then you can also change the skin tone Um, there's a lot of different hairstyles here, so we're gonna go. So we'll go through a few of those. First one here is braided one, so you kind of see the braids there in the front. Braided two is like a braided ponytail in the back. Braided three, there's just a little bit of braids up here. You can kind of see it in the top of the head there. Then you got braided four, which uh, again is kind of these smaller ponytails in the front here. Long one, which is the one that I selected. Ponytail one, which as you can kind of see that ponytail is actually defying the laws of gravity there, so it's pointing straight it out. Uh, ponytail two, which looks about an average ponytail. Ponytail three, long one down the back. Four is just a little tiny guy up there. Short one, just kind of a standard shortcut. Uh, two is the kind of the same thing, got a little bit of a hair growing up on this side here. Side sweep, so if you want to play in a, a death metal band, uh, there you go. You can have that <laughs> have that nice side sweep going on there. And looks like we got a longer side sweep here. Side sweep three, you got uh, bald on the side and a little side sweep. That looks like that's it. These also looks like to me that qualify if you're uh, if you're looking for a manager and your name is Karen. These hairstyles would actually work out pretty well. I'm in my opinion. So there's all that. We're actually going to go back to no hair. And that way we're going to check out the beards. So there's beard one. Beard two. Uh, kind of a braided ponytail there. I guess you could say, or beard. <laughs> uh, four, got a little bit of a beard ponytail there. Long one, which that's the one I was using. Actually looked pretty neat. You got a little bit of uh, different braids and stuff there. I guess they're not braids, more like beard tails. Uh, a few more here. Short one, just a regular short beard. Short two, just kind of a little bit longer. Short three is kind of like a... I'm not sure what you call that. But just a shorter beard. Got a thick one. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah that's it. And then you can do uh, hair tone, so... If you were to go all the way this way, you'd be kind of a light brown. Um, and this, your blondness here. So you can see you can go very, very blonde or get on the other side. So kind of dark there. I went all the way blonde. And then also if you do that and go all the way here, this is how you can get your ginger. So if you want kind of red, red hair. And tone that down if you wanted, uh, oh, here it is. Want a little bit of a darker, dark red. Tone that down a little bit. So yeah, there we go. And uh, I believe it's the same thing for female. You can kind of do the same thing. Different, looks like the hairstyles are actually similar. Yeah, similar, all the, all the hairstyles there. And, uh, same thing. oh, there's no beard options. <laughs> well, obviously, so. And then skin tone as well, so you can see there. We're gonna cancel that. And we're gonna actually get started on this main character here. So, we'll hit start. And here's some other seeds I had for some other games. We're actually gonna do a new seed. Um, world name, we'll say, oh, I don't know, I made up some other ones here. Should we do, uh, oh, what should we name it? Hmm. We'll name it Thoris, Thorstein. There we go. Seed. I mean, this really, 
I, I kind of want to do a random seed. I haven't really looked up many seeds. You can get, it's just kind of like Minecraft, so you can have different seeds for world generation. Um, your bosses will be in different locations and, di and things like that, so depending on what you pick for here, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you could pick, I could go TNT if I wanted or whatever, but we're just going to go with this a random seed here, hit done. And that's when we're going to select. Now, if you did want to start a server, so let's say you wanted to start something with your friends, you click here, and you can enter your server password here. So you'd set that, and then your friends can actually join by clicking here, join game. Any of your friends that ha are actually on the server, you could be able to see them here. I think if you click community, it's going to show me everything. Yeah, so these are all the servers you can join. Um, and you can see all these, a lot of these are password protected. You can also join IP if you know an IP. So like dedicated servers, you'd have an IP you could join. I actually am part of two dedicated servers that I kind of help my friends with there. So other than that, uh, I'll go back to start game. Go to Thorstein. Everything looks good. We're going to start. Here we go. All right. So as I said, I have uh, a little bit of time in this game and it's just been, it's been a great time. I mean, it's really kind of revitalized a lot of different gaming techniques. Um, I play a lot of different stuff as far as um, like Subnautica, No Man's Sky, Astroneer, Minecraft, a lot of your crafting open world survival kind of games. And this really kind of hits the nail on the head with a lot of those. Um, it has a kind of a rust feel to it, as you guys will kind of see. It's got some Minecraft feels with the crafting and stuff like that. So as soon as it up here, wait, there we go. Okay, perfect. Long ago, the all faller Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world. Then split the bowels that held the prison to the world tree and left it, left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of the sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once, uh, were growing once again in strength. He looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. That's a pretty cool intro, I have to say. And here we are, oh man. Like we're riding in on a... I can kind of see some of the land below you too. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a... Haven? Hawk? Bird? I don't know, it's got glowing eyes. Looks like that's my guy there. Just chilling. Oh yeah. This is it. This is the beginning of the game. I don't know what he's gonna do with me here. Oh, we're getting closer in. Alright, off to the starting area. And I am what? Okay, cool. So, like this is kind of where we started out. It looks like there's actually a little house there. Oh, wow, that's really cool. So that is, that's the tree there. So that's the world tree, as you can kind of see. Really good. Like I said, the graphics are uh, a little more on the PS1 style, kind of an old school graphic. So if you've played any PS1 or 90s, if you're a 90s kid like myself and played a lot of those games, you'll recognize a lot of this, so. First off, uh, this bird here, he'll kind of teach you how to play the game, kind of getting started here. And uh, we'll go ahead and talk to him. Welcome to the 10th World Warrior. I am Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. These megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They, re they represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to send to Valhalla. All right. Oh, and he disappears. And did he die? Oh, okay, he's over here. Hail, warrior. Hello. This stone is a Vegvisir. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin, as signposts pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of your Ikthir, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Alright, so what do I... Oh, register location. Okay. Oh. Oh, so this must be where we flew in at. You can see there's a little trail there, so that must be where the raven kind of carried us in. These looks like these must be the stones, and there is there. All right. So I am playing. Oh, let's see. I am playing on a. Uh, I don't know what you call it. A fork. I guess it's emulated 4K monitor. 
So it's kind of odd because it makes, I don't know if it's not optimized for 4K with, uh, with Walheim, but the map I noticed, the difference between playing on like a 1080p and this one is like it's very, very tiny um, on, this, on the scaling here. So like this is super tiny compared to when I play on 1080p, which can be kind of difficult when you're putting down markers and things. So something to kind of keep in mind if you guys are playing on a 4K or even a 1440 monitor with the, with the uh, more dense pixels there. But oh, I should say this is uh, this is my map. You can access this by pressing M, and it'll bring it up here. So there are some different markers you can actually lay in the world. You got campfire, home. Looks like a this looks like a Thor's hammer, little dot, and then you got whatever this thing is here. So um, if you want to mark something, you just double click, and you can kind of see it puts it down there, and you can actually name it. So if you want to name home, just like that, it'll stay. Now if you right click on that, you can actually delete it. Uh, another thing you can do is if you Double click to set it, put home, press enter, and then you can also click on it and it'll X out of it. So, so let's say you're going somewhere mining or something like that. If you want to check that off, you can just click on it and that. And if you right click, it'll completely erase it there. All right, so I actually want to check out this house over here. Uh, see what that's all about. So let's look, we must have a stamina bar at the bottom there, yeah. So I access your inventory, you press tab here. We have a, another guy here. Oh, we got skills too. Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you'll have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick up thing. Oh, sorry. Just pick things up, and it'll all come back to you. I'm sure. My lesser brother Munin tells me of an uh, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Okay, so you must be telling me uh, progression wise, like, hey bud, get some wood and stone. So let's go actually in this building. This building looks pretty cool. Oh, there's, there's something in there. Door open. Okay. Oh, sweet. We got some flint and we got uh, we got a rag tunic. So must be what we're wearing right now. Okay, cool, cool. That's rad. All right. So okay. So run skill. I wonder if there you can see. Okay, let's see. So, this is um, there's your active effects, so that it'll tell you anything you have on you, any kind of effects. Uh, message logs, anything you kind of see in your upper area here. Uh, anything that they've told you about as well. So, if Hugan's told you about different things, you can see that all in here. Uh, next tab here, this is your skills. So, you can see I only got three right now. Uh, only three that I've kind of learned. Clubs, which would be using actually one of these, is considered a club. You got your run skill and then blocking if I had a shield, but I don't I have one yet. Not quite sure. Oh, it's trophies. So this is if you find any trophies. And this is to turn PvP on and off. So if you want to take damage from other players, you can turn that to on. Friendly fire enabled. Off, so. So yeah. Other than that, let's uh, let's get started here. Do some early early uh, game stuff. So starting off, you kind of want to watch look for these branches here. And that'll actually give you wood. You can see there, as soon as you grab something, you actually unlock more more materials, stuff. More items, I should say. Got some raspberries here, and just uh, press E on these to actually to get them. Now, the only thing I don't like that I've noticed, um, and you guys will kind of see, I'll, I'll explain it here as we go on and attack enemies and things. But, oh, okay, here we are again. Well met. A tasty morsel. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you'll grow hungry again, so try to at least have a couple of different meals ready. Okay, so what he's talking about is if you guys see kind of down here, this is your health bar, and this is your hunger. So you got you can have three different items in here, and then you want to diversify your food. So you don't want to have just raspberries or something like that. You actually want to have three different foods, and that'll actually raise your max health. And it'll actually raise your stamina bar as well. So, so really cool there, and uh, kind of a neat mechanic, something different. Right now we only have raspberries, so that's kind of what we're going to eat. And to eat something, just uh, right click on it there. You can see that uh, I have 25 health. That's kind of, that was what was my max. But now, with eating that raspberry, it's actually going to increase my health to this new level here. And this is kind of what this fork will show. Like, hey, this is what your health will go up to um, as it increases. So, all right. Well, we're going to keep exploring here. And... Here's some stones that'll probably unlock some stuff. Okay, so there's that stone axe he was talking about, and we got a hammer. So we need a little bit more wood and some more stone. Kind of keep scarce. 
scavenging here. And it's just pretty easy to come by, as you can see. It's just kind of floating around the ground. I just run around, pick it up. Stone over here. I could probably craft... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a boar. Okay. So I need a little more wood here. Or, or a stone axe. That should be enough, I do believe. Yeah. We'll go ahead and craft that. This is kind of your crafting inventory here. There's certain things you have to have a crafting bench for, and there's certain things you, have, you can do in your inventory. Like I could do a club, a hammer. I usually don't do the club. Uh, typically stick to the stone axe and hammer. And I would recommend getting your club up because later on you'll you'll find maces and things like that. And having this up will actually help with that as well. So the club, the mace is considered a club. Hammer I need some more wood for. I'm not sure I have. I have one, so I just need two more wood. And with uh, my newly acquired axe, we can actually get some wood. So go ahead and chop some trees down here. Oh, this is uh, not too bad. Not too bad. There we go. I was going to try to follow me. Oh, it totally was going to try to follow me. Did you guys see that? Totally was going to try to follow me. So the trees will actually kill you. Um, it's, yeah, definitely have to watch out for that. I'm going to stick there about these stumps that have to remove them every time. Otherwise, it just kind of... Kind of one of those things like in game, uh, same thing like if you're playing Minecraft, you don't just leave trees floating, you know. You always want to try to remove stuff so everything looks natural again. Alright. Oh, looks like I'm running out of stamina there. Okay, we got some wood. Perfect. Drop this one down here. All right, how much does that give it? All right, so we have 25. Now we can craft this hammer here. And it's gonna lock a ton of recipes. Uh, this is actually what you build with. So you can see there, stone pile, cooking station, workbench. Thought I had more than that. Maybe not. Oh, so if you ever hear that noise I just heard, where, there he is. It's actually your bird. So I kind of heard him there and I was looking around for him. You've crafted the hammer. With this tool, you'll raise mighty walls and tower, towering fortifications. Start building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. So, it's kind of goofy. So, actually, you have to construct a workbench. We're actually just going to use this house here because, like, it's right here, right? So, you have to construct a workbench, but then you can't use it until you construct... Uh, I'll just show you guys. It's, it's kind of goofy. I'm going to move this around, too, because I actually like... That's being one... This will be here, and I like that to be in three. Um, just like my pickaxe in Minecraft is always three, so I feel like building stuff, things like that, it's always three. Main attack is always one for me, and then two is always bow, once we get that unlocked. So, alright, I'll show you guys out here first. So if you go to build crafting bench, as it said. Um, so here you can see you got a menu, so you can actually use D. Or, what is it? I'm sorry, you can just scroll wheel to go through a lot of these. And then you can actually use E and Q as well. So you can see E and Q will go through, or if I scroll well, I can go through. You can see I don't really have a lot of uh, uh, things here. It says one, but there's like nothing there. Oh, it's talking about my hammer. Okay. I think this is a, this is a repair function. And that's going to be on every page there, so. You can kind of go through here and see all different stuff. So that's where we got the campfire. We got the wood stack, stone pile. We got a cooking station and a workbench. So a workbench, you just kind of put up. And you can see that little, uh, it's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see that little white line that's around it. That's actually his work area. So uh, that little white line, as soon as you put that down, that kind of tells you what work area you can have. And we're unlocking a bunch more recipes. We got a chopping block, wood floor, wood floor, wood wall, uh, wood half wall, wood door, wood gate, wood stair, wood ladder, thatch roof, thatch roof. So yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do all these, but you guys can kind of See them there or stop the video if you want to read through all of them. Otherwise, I'll show them to you here in a second. But this is just all your building materials. And it's kind of funny. So you need uh, a crafting bench to unlock this. But then you need to actually build a house around your crafting bench in order to use it. So I got to talk to this game part tell me. So you built a workbench. The workbench allows you to craft complex items. As well as giving you access to a lot more building pieces to instruct with the hammer. 
So before, if we were to use the hammer without a workbench, uh, it wouldn't let us craft any stuff, anything. So all this wouldn't actually I'll show you. So if you hold the hammer, you can actually middle mouse click, it destroys anything. Now if I go to build with my hammer, now this, see everything says I need a workbench at the bottom there. I laid kind of red. Yeah, there. It says I need a workbench, so. Also, to get through the, so say you're selected on something, like I'm here. I want to get back to the actual menu that shows me all the stuff. I just have to, all you have to do is right click. That'll take you back through here. We have a few things here. We have a chest we make, a bed, tons of building things through here. Crafting, we got a few options here. We got a workbench improvement, so it'll actually improve your workbench to level two, and then you can craft better items with that. Miscellaneous items here. And yeah. So one thing you can actually do, which I may do here. Um, so if you put this down, you can actually, now I can go to the repair option. I can actually repair these by clicking on them. It's actually free to repair other than you actually, it'll, it'll cost you stamina. Yeah, I could actually repair this entire building if I wanted to make it look nice. You can see it's all broken, but there if I repair it, it brings it back like a newer texture. That one's kind of broken there, and then as soon as I repair it, like fix it up there. And for all the stuff in here as well, you can repair it and make it look nice. Once you have the stem for it. Yeah, and then uh, that's basically the start of the game. You kind of get through there, and then and then what I like to do is kind of. Oh, well, actually, is a place right here. I, I like to find a place by water, so we might go, actually go check that out over here. See how nice that is, because I, I like to build by water. That's kind of kind of pick up the stuff as we go too. So is that that weird honking noise you hear? That's actually deer running away. It's uh, can get cold, a little annoying. <laughs> I don't know why deers sound like they're uh, the honking at you, but uh, yeah, that's Valheim for you. And you gotta oh, so this is a neck, so one of the especially one of the lower tier enemies. Oh, and you got it. Okay, so there's a couple things trying to hit me. This is a Grayling. Um, they live in the forest here. You can see, I kind of killed that uh, neck. Actually, it's kind of funny the uh, the the um, the death of these guys remind me of. Oh, they unlock more recipes, torches and stuff. The death actually remind me, if you guys ever played Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, so like when the enemies would die on that game, they would kind of explode in like a blue purpley. You can kind of see that if I kill this guy here. Watch when he blows up. Yeah, it's kind of that same effect. Got another one here. Oh yeah, oh god, oh, oh god, I'm gonna die. Not really. These guys drop necktails, which actually, so like when I was telling you earlier, how you gotta diversify your foods. This is one of the things you can actually cook up to diversify your foods. So you'll see these rune stones, and this will tell you like lore about different things. Old traveler, and bear witness to my warning. We many, we are many who've come before you, carried here by Odin's will to do his work. The path ahead is hard and the danger is great. If you hold your life dear, keep to the meadows and make sure, make your dwelling away from the trees. Fear the horned one and spare his kin. Fear the horned one and spare his kin. I don't know if they're talking about Ichthyr or what, the first boss? Kind of strange. But yeah, I'm actually going to see if I can find a decent place on the edge of this water right now. This doesn't look too good here actually. But I see an area up there. It actually doesn't look too bad. Oh, if you want to put away your tools, make it run faster, you actually press R, and then if you if you press it again, your, your tool will come back in your hand. Like, this guy's going to be a jerk here. How about you stop that, bud? Yeah, see, he's like, he's being a total jerk. I'll take that. One thing you do want to do, too, if you run around this water, is look for uh, flints. Flint is really good to have. But you can actually, you can go right to a flint axe right away if you can find some. So that's stone there. Oh, so there's some flint there. You see that? That looks like a rock, but it's more more of an oval shape. A stone. 
stone there. And more stone. Oh, look, there's another house out there. So, yeah, we get... Another thing that's cool about this game, there's, like, pre-builds everywhere. Um, kind of abandoned. It's really, really uh, cool to explore those because you can find different things. Now, that one, I'm not sure if I'm going to go out to. My swim skill is not very good, and I may die, so... I'm going to hold up. Oh, yeah, there's another pre-built right here. The most important thing to find in these is beehives, actually. Starting out early game. Beehives will give you honey in here. So, here you see I found some amber. I found some flint in here, which is awesome because I need flint. And we found some gold coins. So, there is a trader in this game. And you actually need these gold coins to trade with the trader. It's not used for anything else except for that. And you have this amber as well. And this is uh, to be sold to the trader. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Another little house here. I actually kind of like this area a little bit. Um, just because I like, like this open plains area. I don't know if I would do this long term. There's a boar. Probably check this guy out. Um, we'll do this guy first. Up on him. He, he 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 definitely saw me there. Yeah. So I found out early game for me. So we got bear tro or I'm sorry, boar trophy. Um, and we got some leather scraps. You can see those there, leather scraps. Oh, actually, you're able to make a bunch of stuff too. Wow. Let's have unlocked with this uh, leather scraps here. We got meat, and then we also got a board trophy. I'm gonna go up to this guy too. Oh wow, we must have got him in the back or something. Oh, we want that meat. meat. So there's some people that say that items don't despawn this game. This kind of, from what I've read, and I, I read a lot of the Reddit some posts. The items actually do despawn, it depends on where they're at. So if you have a workbench, like kind of showed you guys earlier, and see how it has the radius here? If you drop an item within that radius, it will not despawn. So if I if I put this down, anything that's inside that radius there will not despawn. Now if I drop an item outside of the workbench radius on land, it'll be, it, I believe it's 30, it's three days. So I think it comes up to, or two days I think. I'd heard like 30 minutes, so it's pretty long as, you know, Minecraft's five minutes, so. Okay, so there's the beehive I was telling you guys about. Um, so, this is kind of, you kind of want to bow to shoot these, or kind of like how I do it, but another way to do this so that you don't get attacked is actually to put up a uh, workbench right next to this dwelling here, and kind of see that, that bee nest there. If you go to your uh, your hammer, you can actually break, break some of this stuff, so like I'm going to break this. And if I break what that thing is holding on to, it'll actually break that beehive. Yeah, see there? It broke the beehive. And that way, I don't have to actually go in there and get killed. So, kind of wait for it to all go, and then you can kind of come in and collect it. And then even taking this stuff out, like, isn't too bad, because this building really doesn't look that terrible. May... Oh, what is this? Oh, I bring tidings. Be wary of the weather. When the temperature drops at night, or if you're wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeing shelter by an open fire is the best option when this happens. Actually, I think what we're going to do is uh, is probably fix up... I don't know if that other shack is... Maybe we'll fix up this shack here. And we'll actually use this for, uh, for a base for just getting started here. Since it's nighttime, we can't see anything, so... That's what I actually might do here. And actually, this back part is perfect. Something I typically like to do, and sorry, sorry that it's uh it's so dark. I know it's probably a pain to see, especially with the YouTube's terrible compression. All right, so we'll kind of fix this up a little bit. Oh, there's actually a bed here too. Probably can't use it. So we're gonna actually get rid of that bed. Oh, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's uh, actually really easier to see there. All right. What I want to do is I actually want to repair some of this stuff, but let me put up a torch first so you guys can see. So I go into furniture here and I do a standing wood torch. You can see it takes wood. I'll escape here so you guys can see. Wood, resin, and the workbench. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of those down. And in the corners here so we can see a little bit. Oh, we don't have any more resin. Okay. What just happened? 
for some reason that it just glitched out. That was weird. Okay, that was what odd that that stopped uh, burning there. Um, but I think we have enough stone, so we're just actually gonna. I'm just gonna build a, uh, a fire here. So one thing I like to do. Run the building. Oh, it's so hard to see though. Sorry guys, this is this is pretty terrible for you know we'll see here, but I just want to kind of get this up so I can put this fire down. I suppose I could just put that out. There you go. You kind of see here, I kind of made a little like uh, square here, so we're actually going to use that. I wish that stayed just to place this fire down. There we go. And then kind of rebuild the rest of this. So one thing that is different with this is that the fire will actually, or the smoke will actually generate inside of a building. And if you let it fill up in your building, it'll actually kill you. Um, You'll, you'll have like smoke inhalation. You definitely definitely don't want to do that. So what I like to do here, first thing, let's see, we're gonna do a little bit of building if I have enough wood. Yeah, we should. I think I destroyed these earlier when I was. Why is that not, not linking up like it should? That's that's odd. should be just lining up here, but it's not, huh? That is super strange that's not... Because it's broken, maybe? Ow. Why is that... What's it doing on the side? Investigate. Yeah, it's definitely definitely on there where it should be. Go for the thatch forty five here. So to rotate, uh, all you do is just scroll well. You can see there. If I do that and I do that, I'm able to put this right up here. I don't know why it's so weird that it's not connecting there. Oh, we're out of wood. That's all right. We have the fire, so actually, I'm gonna cut down one tree here. We'll actually, we'll see. Yeah, we'll go for this one. So we cut down a tree here, and we'll use uh, the wood to make a bed, and I'll kind of sleep the night away. I think that'll actually end it for now. It's kind of a kind of a good amount of video for uh, for starting out. I don't want it to get too long. So yeah, we'll just go ahead. Remember, stumps first. Hopefully that tree doesn't come back and try to kill me. Yeah, they actually roll out of the way, and if they're up a hill, they'll roll back and they'll kill you. Uh, it'll, it's definitely a thing. It's definitely happened to me. And there's a grayling going to come try to kill me, too. I just heard him being a jerk. Where's he at? Maybe he's not around. Yeah, definitely hear him. Oh yeah, right there. Oh yeah, there's like two of them. Yeah, this could be bad. Let me in my house. Close the door. All of these guys in. I got enough wood. I only got two. Put our, uh, eat some food here. I should eat some honey. Honey is, like, super good. Honey gives you, you can see the foods if you click on them. Honey gives you five, or, or uh, five health per tick, which is amazing. And then your berries give you one health per tick. So, if you're in a bind, like, you're fighting a boss or something, and you need health, like, quick, definitely, definitely take some honey, for sure. We're just gonna, like, make the, yeah, get these guys out of here, because not a fan. It's actually pretty good because I need that resin they drop. Alright. Oh, did my... Oh, great. No nice broke. Okay, so. I'll show you guys something else here. Uh, if you go to the workbench, you can actually repair your tools for free. Which is super nice. There's this repair button here. 
You see there, I just repaired that all the way up. No mats needed. Completely free. There we go. There log go. There it is. My fire burn out? Not yet. Alright, so I'm actually gonna repair this floor. We're gonna go ahead and put it on a bed. Now we'll actually Oh, not that. Got a bed here. Takes eight wood, which we have plenty of. Oh, there we go. A headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another home another improvement to your home would be some chest where you can store things. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Unclaimed bed. TNT YT's bed. And we're going to sleep. So with that, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I uh, really appreciate you all. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, here we go. There's actually dreams here. So dream of running up a hill, green shoots turning downward, and something. Um, but, yeah, so I think I'm going to end it. She ended here on day two. That's kind of the basics of getting started in Valheim. Um, next, I think we're going to try to find a good place to build a new, build a house. And I'll kind of show you the building mechanics. So thanks for coming out. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.